As Italian, I think uh, if you have a culture, if you have an identity, your roots are different from other people's roots. I'm not English, I'm not American, I'm Italian, I have to say I'm more Roman than Italian. So this idea of effortless beauty that you can see in the city, the layers of the city, the paganism and the Catholicism, the Baroque, the Imperial Roma, Pasolini and Rossellini, all together are Roma. Passion is about the moment. Beauty is about eternity. What I feel is that you don't have to give the real perspective, but your own real perspective. I love the idea of telling stories. Everything started with books. I loved imagining the aesthetic of the books I was reading, how you are translating the sensation you have into scenes or stories. But when I started to see fashion photographers, I started to understand the power of fashion in telling stories. I liked imagining the frame behind, the frame after the frame I was seeing. So I love the power of telling stories of fashion. The big photographer to me are the people that are able to talk about people. I love Carlo Molino. I love Cecil Beaton, Ivan Penn, Avedon. I love Bailey. David Bailey to me is an hero. <laughs> Doesn't care who you are, what you do. Steichen is one of my favorite ever. Because I think he's, he was a great mind first and a great photographer. As creative director of Valentino, I do haute couture, ready to wear, menswear, accessories. So all the collections. I start collection not with an idea of clothes. I start with an idea of beauty, or the dreams I want to deliver. Drawings were a passion for me. But I understood that drawings were an instrument to express my ideas. And of course, in this job, ideas are the key. It's super important to be faithful to yourself every time. Even if you tell different stories, because every collection has uh, its own story, but uh, you want to be recognized for the aesthetical language. It's like a movie director. I respect a lot directors who have their own language. Antonioni is one of my favorites ever. I have to say La Notte, L'Eclissi, L'Aventura are a trilogy I do really like. Because they talk about the incommunicability of life. They are so modern and deep. The idea of man as something ephemeral in life. 
Marcello Mastroianni was not considered an elegant man for his time. I like him because of his effortless elegance. Federico Fellini is a super important witness of Italian culture. He described this oniric side of Italy. I think Pasolini is a, is a great director. He was not only a director, he was a poet, only a writer. He was a visionary man. His movies are forever. If I think Medea, with Maria Callas and Piero Tosi costumes, I think it's part of the common culture. I did this campaign in New York for, for a bag is called Spike. To me, it's a beautiful object. It talks about Valentino, it's luxurious, it's cool, it's classic, but young. But I wanted to, to do a communication which was talking about my idea of building diversity. So I went to New York in the streets. New York is finesse. Stopping people with different looks, different personalities. You fly. I, I don't like talking about men or women. I like talking about people. Valentino. Make people shut up. And you don't care what they do. You care what they are. To me, beauty is close to the idea of individuality. And so you translate these values in, in an aesthetic, which is about diversity, it's about something which is not close to the physical attributes, but is close to the inner grace of people. I don't give a postcard picture of Valentino. I want to give my personal perspective on the landscape you already know. And I think even in fashion today, everything has to be more personal and more authentic. I love art and I love artists. I think that it's very personal the way you look at art. So to me, Pia della Francesca is much more subversive than every modern artist. I thought it Piero della Francesca color skin it was the most advanced thing I was seeing. Colors are definitely part of the message you want to deliver. I do love the red from Fontana, but I do love the red from Caravaggio, which is a deep red. I like even the different tones of red together to create shades of red rather than just one red. I love the signature red of Valentino. But I do like the red not just as a symbol of power, of glamour. I love red as something uh, personal and, and romantic. Giving a new perception of red is a good challenge. I love challenges because if you change the perception of colors, it's a good thing. To me, pink is punk. It's not sweet. It's not a sweet color. I think black is uh, as a state of mind. Is uh, when I wear black, I'm thinking. Black can be everything. White means innocence. White means the tela bianca, the white toile, is the beginning of everything. I think white is like black. 
is the opposite and in some way is the same. It's like if white is the starting point and black is the rival one. Tomorrow I can love different colors. I don't have rules. No rules is my rule. <laughs> I like to connect different words. I start with an idea that becomes an image of the whole thing. I started the last collection with the idea of transitional moments. I was feeling that I couldn't find inspiration from something far from me. I had to, to go very deeply back to my aesthetical roots. So I went back to what I do really like. like the moment between the end of Middle Age and the beginning of Renaissance, or the moment between late 70s, early 80s, the beginning of punk. Hello. I think in that transitional moment, free minds can tell something new and can show the path of the future. Bosch, I like Bosch because he was a free mind. He was a painter from Renaissance, but he could even be from this century. And when I was thinking of connecting punk culture with humanism, I had this image of Bosch, the Garden of Earth, the Light. To me, it was very precise. I used to work in partnership for 25 years. So um, I understood that working alone means uh, uh, even to be more naked. When you're alone, you can be really unfiltered, really emotional. It's really uh, intense. If you are able to show your emotions and to be exactly as you are, I think this is a great strength. Beauty to me is sometimes imperfection. As Oscar Wilde used to say, you need an imperfection to remember beauty. So it's different, it's a different moment. My job is about uh, delivering an idea of beauty for, for my times. Dreams are super, super huge part of my work. I still dream a lot because I think that if you don't dream, you can deliver dreams. I don't like the commercial side of fashion. You don't need a new bag, a new item. You need new emotions and new dreams. And that's what fashion is for. You don't have to understand why you love something. You just love it.